I remember the day the cast for this film was officially announced and everyone's reaction was either positive, negative, or somewhere in the middle and flat out confused. And somehow, I managed to be all of the above. <sighs> How the times have flied. <laughs> So the Super Mario Bros movie is a brand new animated adaptation of the Super Mario Bros franchise. The film is directed by Aaron Horvath and Michael Jelani, and the film stars Chris Pratt, Charlie Day, Jack Black, Aya Taylor-Joy, and Seth Rogen. The film is about two plumbers named Mario and Luigi who get transported into an alternate world where they become entangled into an all-out war between Bowser and the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, that that's literally the plot of the movie, just that. All right. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm probably not the first person to have said this, but I'm gonna say it right here, right now. From an animation standpoint, this is hands down Illumination's best film yet. The animation in this film is so crisp, it's so smooth, and it's just so fluid that there are no rugged or choppy parts throughout the entire animation flow. It looks absolutely stellar. Everything from the characters themselves to the emotional moments they show, and even to the environment, it just looks so damn good. I am giving all of my love to the animation department because they did their thing with this movie. So major, major props to them. The humor in this movie is actually good for the most part, of course. Now, there are times where the humor can't come across as, well, cringe, and it's just like... Ooh. But for the most part in this movie, it actually worked, especially for the characters and the jokes that they make. It actually fits their character. For an all around cast, the voice acting was actually good. Chris Pratt as Mario. I can't lie. His Mario voice actually grew on me. So Chris Pratt does do the Mario accent in the beginning of the film. And then after that, it goes right back to his regular Brooklyn voice, I guess. But that didn't ruin the movie for me. Now, I'll be honest. When I saw that trailer and I heard Chris Pratt's voice as Mario, I was like... But I told myself, you know what? I want to wait. I want to wait until the movie comes out and then I will form an opinion. And frankly, I thought he was fine. I thought he was good. It wasn't really anything groundbreaking or spectacular, but... It grew on me. Obviously, he's not better than the OG voice actor for Mario, even though the OG actor is literally present in this film but doesn't have a major part. But still, Chris Pratt as Mario, it, it grew on me. It's fine. It's whatever. I feel like some people may still disagree with Chris Pratt being the choice of Mario. And while I personally also still disagree, I still wanted to give him a fair chance. Also, yes, I know the OG voice actor for Mario is Charles Martinet, and like I said, he is present in this film. I don't know why, but I didn't think to say it when I was talking about Chris Pratt as Mario. I just kept calling him the OG voice actor for Mario instead of his actual name. Please don't come at me in the comments. Now, if you thought Spider-Man No Way Home had fan service, this movie takes fan service and amplifies it by 9,000. There are so many easter eggs and references and callbacks to former Mario video games or other Mario projects. Now, I didn't know every single project, but the ones that I did know, I was like, ooh, ooh. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see Mario go through the portal like in Mario 64, but regardless, I'm, I'm happy with what we got. Also, I really liked Charlie Day as Luigi. I thought Charlie did a really good job of bringing out that panic and anxiousness of Luigi onto the big screen. Bowser was just incredible from start to finish. He was menacing, he didn't waste no time, and he was surprisingly funny. Like, not over-the-top MCU humor funny, but kind of like that Jack Black charisma and humor in a way, and I thought it really worked for the character of Bowser. I can only imagine how much fun Jack Black had while recording his scenes. I also like what they did with Princess Peach in this film, because guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, if this movie had given us a video game accurate Princess Peach, I did this movie would not have worked for me. Because when you look at how Princess Peach was in the video games, Yeah, I would much rather prefer the movie version over the video game counterparts. This movie also has surprisingly cool action sequences. I was like, man, for a Super Mario Bros. movie, 
these scenes are kind of kick ass. I also really enjoyed the themes of having faith and confidence encouraging yourself while also stepping up to the plate to be a positive role model for your community and people that care about you. In the Mario Kart racing scene, absolute perfection. I have zero problems with it. I loved that scene. That was probably one of the best scenes throughout the entire movie for me. It is just perfect. My biggest problem with this movie is that it's short. The movie is only an hour and 30 minutes, but I swear it only felt like 55 minutes. And that can be a good thing or a bad thing for some, but for me, like, given how massive the Super Mario Bros. world is, I understand that they couldn't explore every single dynamic of it in this one movie. However, even when they were traveling from destination A to B to C, it just felt rushed and ran through, you know what I mean? I kind of wish we had a bit more time to flesh it out a bit more. It would have given the audience more breathing time to adjust what they are witnessing, and I just think that could have worked out, but they just didn't implement it. So, it is what it is with that. Other than that, I don't have any major problems. In the end, the Super Mario Bros. movie is a massive love letter to the fans of this franchise, while also providing a plethora of fan service to the old fans and being a massive warm welcome to new fans. So plugging the Super Mario Bros. movie into the rank system, this movie is going into the pinnacle zone. But yeah guys, that'll pretty much do my review for the Super Mario Bros. movie. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought about the Super Mario Bros. movie. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you think there was too much fan service? Do you wish they had spent more time exploring these worlds? Let me know down in the comment section below and I will see you all in the I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I will see you all in the next one. After working up the nerve, almost equal in size. I walked around with the iron for any wrinkle in time. I paid a piece of my mind for every nickel and dime. But never less than a five and never slept on a job. A killer trap with your squad, yet never left the garage. When your God was close enough to see the flesh of his eyes. Get to the button and press it's what the message advised. What's a threat behind a message where the testament